Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your singles read. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always guys, along with information about what decks of cards I use in all of my videos, okay? So go ahead and check that out there, okay? We're going to see for you singles who's coming towards you here. Ooh, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this could be that you just, you know, you're a soulmate and you've met in a previous life, or it could even be somebody from this life. We do have a retrograde coming up, guys, so don't shoot the messenger. You know, they always try it. It's not me, it's them. Blame them. So let's see. Heart to heart conversation. Somebody does definitely want to talk to you here. Um, honestly communicate so if you're not interested from somebody from this life just tell them be straight up and tell them okay but here it could just be that somebody from your past life a soulmate is coming forward here and it's they're going to strike up a conversation with you very soon okay clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you guys now let's see Somebody's coming in very soon here. They're going to strike up a conversation with you. So you just have to sit back and wait for this to happen. In the near future here. Okay, so yeah, we have very soon and in the near future. So it's definitely coming up quick. Be assertive. It's like accept the offer invitation. Okay. So yeah, and if you don't want somebody like i said just tell them straight up okay um don't leave them with false hope just be clear so that ooh, a year from now a year from now your life will be very different here let's see why yeah don't leave them hanging on with false hope even if they did it to you before you know it's just not worth it so that you know the universe can bring in somebody for you just be clear and honest with them what else could you ask for you know you want to move on you want to have somebody new nine of cups wishes granted here this is a lot of good things coming in for you here i feel like you'll be very interested in a new relationship queen of wands so this is you guys this is like we have venus um moving into scorpio in october i think it's october 8th so you're looking good you're feeling good this is why everybody wants a piece of you you're looking like somebody's wish come true here with the nine of cups and you know queen of wands energy here very attractive so yeah you're very appealing to people right now you may find that you have quite a few offers coming in okay maybe even somebody you wish for so it's like if you're wishing for somebody, they're coming in very quickly here. Ooh, another, ooh, another nice one there. Magician. Okay, so this is manifesting very nicely. You could have been working on manifesting a soulmate into your life, but it's coming now. It's about to begin. This is new beginnings here, okay? So that's wonderful. This is card one. So it's definitely closer than um, the full card, you know, just beginning again. It's like you're ready now today to accept offers for this soulmate to come in. We have the devil card, so it could be a Capricorn that's coming in for you guys. Okay, it's um, mirrored by the nine of cups, the devil card there. So it's like you could be wishing for a really strong commitment. A lot of people um, just feel like the devil card is um you know a negative card it speaks of desire attraction um you know a strong bond between you guys it could be that that's pulling them in from your past life connection here a very strong tie to each other Ooh, five of swords and it's reversed here um so this is saying you know um you'll communicate quite well with this person um Maybe before, if you found it difficult to communicate, it'll seem like with this person, the conversation just flows freely and easily, which is wonderful. And I feel like, you know, that builds the attraction, getting talking to them. We have the chariot now. Nice cards, guys. 
So, yeah, this is you, you know, um, having overcome the good and the bad. It's showing now that you will be successfully moving into a relationship here. Things are changing. Things are on the move for you guys. Wonderful. Ooh, the hermit. So, yeah, you've been doing this work on yourself, spending time on your own. It's time to get out there, guys. This person is coming in for you. Could be a Virgo for some or a Cancer Capricorn we have here. Um, but yeah, overall, it's like you've done the work during Virgo season. So now it's like you see the lantern. It's like somebody's been drawn to you like, you know, like a moth to the flame here. Somebody is really attracted to you here with the devil card. That's desire, attraction, that pull. OK, and it's because you've been doing the work. You've spent time on your own now. So it's time to get out there. It really is. Ooh, seven of swords. So this is not deceiving yourself. OK, don't think that everybody's the same. Things like that. Don't be indecisive, you know, and feel like, you know, holding on to these five swords that maybe every person I meet will be a lose-lose situation. It shows the five of swords reverse now, okay? So it shows that you'll be able to easily communicate with this person. Um, be honest and clear yourself. You know, some people when first dating tell little white lies. There's no need for it. This person you can be your absolute self with. They're very attracted to you, very drawn to you. I feel they'll be very understanding of you. So just honestly communicate here. Okay, be assertive. Don't let um, these things hold you back. Maybe you've been lied to in the past and you're holding on to that sort of energy. Just try and release that, okay, guys? Because that's holding yourself back and deceiving yourself here. Ooh, King of Swords, yeah. Again, about honesty being very important to you, but this is somebody coming in very swiftly, okay? Um, the person might be quite intellectual here. Um, they might be very reasonable. I feel like they're a good conversationist here and they're being honest with you and that's all they expect back. So if that's all, you know, if that's like a building block for your two's relationship, this will be very important to them as well, you know, because I feel like for, for you, you may feel like, look, communicating clearly is like a top priority on my list for me. Like, I can't have, you know, all this miscommunication, these lies. I need loyalty. So I feel like you'll be communicating that to this person and it makes your bond deepen between each other because they're very honest and outgoing and want loyalty too. Um, I feel like what you see is what you get here. Okay, this person will be very clear with you. Like if you're asking, look, I'm just asking for honesty at this stage of the relationship. That's how they're going to be with you. They're coming in very fast with the chariot and... Um, the King of Swords energy there. I feel like you've manifested or called in um, this soulmate because you're ready now in this Queen of Wands energy. Ten of Pentacles leads to something very stable, okay? And it's this building block of honesty and clarity that really builds this um, stable relationship here, which is wonderful. And I feel like, you know, you've been wishing for it, trying to manifest it here, using affirmations and things. And it's really going to pay off here, guys. OK, this is wonderful in the very near future. And look, a year from now, you'll be in a very stable relationship. Things will be very different for you guys. Nice. Good luck, guys.